And then when your name popped across the screen? It was just, you know, like a feeling of relief, you know, being that all the hard work's paid off. And, you know, nobody wants our season to be over with right now, you know. And we get to come out here at least for one more week and play with our brothers, you know, and go out and shock the world. It was almost louder when Rice popped up across the screen, that, like the cheering in here, than it was when you guys did. So what does that say about your guys? Yeah, I think the guys were excited to uh, also know that we have an opponent uh, to rematch from last year. Um, Rice has got a, a very good historic program, has played extremely well, especially down the stretch. It's a, t a totally different club now. Uh, they've won, I think, 18 of the last 22 games, obviously run through the Conference USA tournament and, and, and uh, walk off a very good Southern Miss ball club we saw a few weeks ago. Uh, so I think they're excited about that opportunity to go compete uh, and maybe have a little payback for from regional a year ago. Were you shocked? Did you expect it? I mean, uh, I definitely expected it. I think we deserved to be in the tournament, and uh, now we just got to prove ourselves. And then it was an even bigger cheer when Rice popped up. Just talk a little bit. About oh yeah, we definitely. You know, we played them earlier in the year and beat them two out of three, but. Uh, that regional game last year really hit us hard and uh, ready to prove them wrong and everybody else. So it gives you extreme confidence that you just took two or three of them? Uh, I think we, we do have some confidence going into it. You know, we've seen them three times this year already. So uh, we've played them and uh, we're familiar, but uh, it's just another game. we got to go win it. Again, you see all the matchups, you see all of the times, the networks. Brett Rooker takes that SEC triple crowd, 80 out of zero. There you are, the one versus the four. How about the new <laughs> It's just the culture Coach Ortiz built. Um, you know, we started this uh, 10 years ago when I got here. Uh, he did a fantastic job of building that culture and instilling that in, in us um, as a staff. And also, we've been able to kind of take that and run with it. You know, with winning, you continue to get a little bit better talent wise, uh, but don't lose focus of, of the guys that guys here. Uh, the, the guys, the, the same mentality, same makeup, the, the same guys that can handle the midseason adversity that, you know, go through the struggles. Um, you know, you tip your hat to, to a guy like Paul Maneri and LSU with what they've done to be so consistent, be a national seat again what five years in a row it's just it's so impressive uh, but he's recruits that same mentality just to, obviously um, with the talent level he's got so we've done and continue to do that with the same makeup same mentality to, to be able to build this moment um, and like we said now it's time to go win this thing